If you know you have a rodent problem in your restaurant, you're only days away from your customers knowing as well. Hi, my name is James with Animals in the Attic Restaurant Division. Keep watching and get more tips on solutions and prevention. If you have a rat problem in your restaurant, you probably have holes that they've created throughout your baseboards and drywall. Whatever you do, leave those holes until all the rodents are gone, your place is sealed up, and the problem is solved. Then, if you want to go back and patch those holes for appearances, go ahead. But if you do that, while the problem is still going on, they're going to chew more holes in your drywall and in your baseboards and create more issues for you. So use those holes, put traps in front of them, but don't close them up because they're going to chew their way back out. The last thing you want at your restaurant is some truck pulling up with bouncy ears on the roof and logos all over it. It's important you find yourself a professional who understands the importance of discretion. Where do you most often learn about the challenges your competitors are having? Whether it be good or bad, it's coming from one of your purveyors more than likely. The produce guy, the beer guy, the guy who cleans your beer taps, any number of them. Make sure you're discreet in front of them because just as much as they enjoy telling you about other restaurants, they enjoy telling those people about you. Keep it discreet, stop everything when they come in, and resume when they're gone. It'll serve you well. Screen doors on a restaurant, not the greatest idea. Rats will chew right through the screen and often they don't seal well, so they can just walk in the corners. Get rid of the screen doors and get your staff a fan. It will save you a lot of problems when you're trying to prevent or solve a rodent problem. The prep area, it often goes unchecked because prep cooks come in earlier than everyone else. They get the food prepared for the line cooks and typically they're gone, sometimes even they, during lunch service. So it's often difficult to pull them aside before they leave and go through their station to make sure it's clean. A checklist is a great idea for your management team or yourself. If you have any questions or need help, call or text me at the number below. I'll get back to you quickly and I'll discreetly solve your problem.